refugee life starting over. All over the world, millions of people have to leave their homes because they aren't safe anymore. They are called refugees. Where can they go? Find out about how one former refugee now helps others, what a refugee camp includes, and how refugee children still can go to school. Up next, how the four Diali brothers got to Seattle from the other side of the earth. The beautiful South Asian country of Bhutan, lying between China and India, looks like a fairy tale land. But in the 1990s, many people there did not live happily ever after. About one sixth of the population spoke a different language and had different customs, so government officials threw them out of the country. Leave immediately, take nothing. More than 100,000 people, including the Diali family, ended up in one of seven refugee camps in their neighboring country, Nepal. Everyone lived in huts made of sheets of plastic and bamboo. Bala, one of the four Diali sons, says teachers hit them at school. There was little protection from illness, few doctors and poor medicines, and the water quality was often dangerous, filled with germs that caused disease. After 16 years in the camp, the Dialis were rescued by an international organization that moved them to Seattle, Washington. Many refugees dream of fancy American houses and big cars, but it's just a dream. The Dialis crowded into one small apartment and struggled with the differences between life in their homeland and life in the U.S., especially the language. When Bala walked up to his high school on the first day, he thought it was a palace. Then he went inside. Because he couldn't speak English, he was always alone, and kids teased him. He actually wanted to go back to the camp. Bala began to learn English, started to love learning, and made new friends. Now, only three years later, Bala is in college studying engineering. All four brothers live together and share traditional meals like curry and lentils. And they're excited about their new lives and the possibilities they now have in the U.S.